Adam says something that's very, very troubling to me. In the organization. He says a lot of things that that's are troubling. troubling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the organization, <laughs> they say he likes, to, he likes to be in one position. Usually that's a player thing. I know. And that's a mental thing. Yeah. Right? I need to be on this side of the field. The only time that we've seen that work is with Peyton and his guys. And Peyton oh, wanted gosh. that. Oh, yeah. You never moved. wanted any movement at all. Yeah, right. Pey Peyton wanted that. Right, right. But yeah. usually from a receiver, I don't care where you put me. Just throw me the ball. Right, I don't right. care if I'm in the backfield, if I'm coming running off the sideline. Right, right, right. And if it's legal and I get the ball, right. I don't care. When you start hearing receivers, I want that's usually saying that I don't trust my hands. Right. right. I like to be on this side of the field. I that's like a the great ball point. Like, that's what that See, is. That's a great point, and I learned that, believe it or not, from a veteran coach a guy who's actually a very good friend of mine, Al Saunders. I don't know if you know Al at all, yeah. coach in the league for forever. And I used to sit with him at the combine when we watch receivers. And, yeah. you know, he'd give me a running commentary, and I learned so much. And he would always talk about hand placement. He said that can be taught. He said he hates to hear when people say a receiver has bad hands. Yeah. Because he was always of the belief that you could teach guys how to place their hands to catch the ball. By the way, as a total aside, that's an issue that Christian Watson, the, the kid from the Packers, has. He doesn't know how to place his hands. Mm. And I noticed mm. that watching his college tape, despite the that. fact that he can run by everybody. Yeah. Right. But, uh, you know, maybe McLaurin, I don't know if this about McLaurin yeah. for a fact, but who knows, maybe he's just more comfortable in one spot because of the way he places They're his hands. They're happy when they give him a big yeah. extension. Yeah, 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 oh, no, I'm not saying, yeah, yeah. we're not saying yeah. he's a bad receiver. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. You know. Just, so, so just from, you know, technical standpoint, usually when your right hand is on top as a receiver, you're more comfortable. Right. It's your dominant hand, the ball is coming this way. Everyone yeah, you don't see righties do this. Yeah. When you're going left and your left hand's on top, this is an uncomfortable position for uh, a receiver. Right. And most guys cheat it by doing this uh -huh. right. when they catch. Now, this is a problem because when I'm looking there at the quarterback, I can't see my hands right now. Right, right, right. Right? If I'm out in front, I can see my hands and the ball. Oh, right? So there's wow. a blind spot there. So there, <clears throat> there's plus and minuses to it. And if you catch like this, it's not always a negative. You just have to make sure you're putting your hands forward. And that's what Jerry Rice would do. And, of course, the do. defender then is closer, too, because well, it's, it's behind you. Him. It's behind you. There's right. times, like, we can get into yeah. this. There's times where it's necessary. If a guy's right, on my right, hip. Right, that, right. If a guy's on my hip here and the ball's out in front. If he's trying to undercut. Yeah. Me putting my hands like this frees my hip up where I can turn up field. Right. If I go here, now my hip is locked. I can't get up field fast. So there's times. But, that, but this is all coaching. This is all coaching. Right. Like you said. Right.